The man who invented the principle of changing tracks on a train was a genius. How is it possible to pass accurately even on intricate tracks? Although the train has a steering wheel, it can only be used to control the speed of the car. Pay attention to this wheel. Which way do you think it will go? Before that, understand the principle of the wheel. The perfect design of thick inside and thin outside is the basis for a train that never derails. And even if the wheel shifts, the resulting net horizontal force returns the wheel to its rightful path. The inside of the wheel is called the rim, which acts as a guide. So the answer is simple. The wheels will go to the left side of the track, and if they want to go to the right, just move this curved track out of the way, and the train will naturally go to the right. Now, change to this common track. The center, too, like a tongue-like wriggling called tongue rail. In the rim of the guide, the wheel will go to the yellow track. But as long as the live rail to the other side, the wheel will go to the blue track. Of course, just this would still be a problem because the raised rim of the train would be blocked by the tongue rail. And I'm afraid that at such a fast speed of the train, there would be a risk of derailment. If you cut a slit in the center, this problem seems to be solved, but the train will still lurch down violently as it passes by, and even if it doesn't roll over, the feeling of people being turned up is not pleasant. Genius engineers thought of another way to extend the cross-section for a period of time seems to be okay, but it will bring another problem if the wheel passes through the extension section is likely to be directly derailed. The emergence of the wheel guard rail completely solved all the problems. It can limit the wheel flange outward deflection, the real realization of never derail. So the train car to go which track is not controlled by the driver, but the ground wrenchers in advance according to the route to change the turnout to decide. But with the development of railroad technology, the wrenching profession has gradually withdrawn from the stage of history.